And riding horses is not a right, it's a privilege. Not everyone gets to ride a horse. I'm sorry to tell you that. There's plenty of people that weigh within the 20% rule that should not be riding horses. Hey, bitch. I was supposed to be taking a medical exam today, and here I am. <laughs> here I am, okay, because, you know... I am so over this crap, dude. Honestly, I'm really at the point where I don't care. I don't care if I hurt your feelings. I just, I don't care. Because the thing is, the truth hurts sometimes. And I am not of the mindset that lying to people is the better option when we are talking about the health and safety and well-being of animals. I actually think that it's really fucked up to lie to people to make them feel better about their bad choices that put their animals in harm's way. Earlier today, I came across a video on TikTok that a bunch of people tagged me in, and it's basically an overweight rider, admittedly overweight, not saying that just to be mean, complaining about how she's upset with people who comment in her comment sections about the 20% rule. I'm not going to be nasty to you, because a lot of people don't realize that there have been studies done that has totally disproven the 20% uh, rule that was done, I believe, in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Since then, um, even universities such as the Ohio State University have completely disproven this. While 20% is an okay way to see what gauges uh, as far as safe for a horse, um, it has been definitely proven that a light weight appropriate unbalanced rider essentially does more damage tissue wise etc over time than a slightly heavier rider <clears throat> that can actually move with their horse and ride um honestly i, I hate this 20 percent rule and the fact that it's so outdated and people don't do their due diligence of doing the research to check before they post now, I made a response to this on my Instagram and my TikTok, and I pretty much made like a general summary about why she's wrong. Okay, so clearly this is something that is a very sensitive topic for you because I understand that you're an overweight rider and you think that people are trying to body shame you by trying to care about the health and well-being of animals. But trust me, this isn't about you. This is about the animal and this is about the health and safety of the animal. So this first study was conducted in 2020, and it says increased rider weight did not induce changes in behavior and psychological parameters in horses, just to show you I'm, you know, not being biased in my response. However, the conclusions for this study were not that there were no negative side effects. It was that there were no negative side effects to horses with riders weighing between 15 and 23 percent of the horse to rider weight ratio. Uh, in short-term studies. So the study that you are talking about was not a long-term study. This was a short-term change in the rider weight. And for short-term, it says that it did not induce changes in these parameters, which is something that we've known for a while. This study was conducted in 2021. This talks about the impact of mounted load carrying on horses. And right here, we have the overloading has become an important issue among veterinarians, trainers, riders, and welfare advocates. The increased weight may have negative side effects on biomechanical, physiological, and behavioral parameters during exercise. Here's another study done by the University of Minnesota, and this is guidelines for weight carrying capacity of horses. In 2008, an Ohio University research evaluated the impact of rider and tack weight. They monitored horses for heart rate, breathing rate, rectal temperature, loin muscle condition when carrying loads of 15, 20, 25, and 35 percent of their body weight. Research found that an average adult light riding could comfortably carry about 20 percent of their ideal body weight. This result agrees with the value recommended by Certified Horsemanship Association and the United States Calvary Manuals of Horse Management published in 1920. 
So then it goes on to talk about the negative effects, fitness balance, duration, intensity, work, equipment, hoof care, whatever. Again, this was updated in 2019, so it's not an old article. So again, I'm not trying to be mean, but this is not about you. This is about the health, safety, and care of horses. And I do agree that light riders that weigh within the 20% rule could cause back damage by being a bad rider. And I also agree that heavier riders that may fall a little bit above the 20% rule could still be decent riders as long as they have a horse that's in shape and healthy and their tack is properly fitted and they're riding with good equitation. I do agree that they could still ride horses and not cause horseback problems, but to sit there and say that a rider that is drastically overweight could still be perfectly fine at riding horses and that people are just fat shaming is wrong. And it's also triggering people to be upset about something that's not about you. It's not about fat shaming. It's not about fat acceptance or whatever. This is just about animal welfare. So girl, not only are you biased because you admittedly are an overweight rider who's looking for reasons to excuse your behavior for riding your horse and trying to make yourself feel better about your actions. It completely discourages whether you um, are complimenting them or not. That but takes everything behind that comment away because you have completely discouraged this rider from writing because you literally called them fat without coming out and saying it. Um, I'm a bigger rider, but I can ride. I can sit a buck. I'm no bronc rider, but I'm bigger. I ride a 14-3 hand horse. She's built like a brick shit house, but technically, according to that rule, I'm too heavy she doesn't generally toss me. She's tossed me once in her entire life. I've had her for eight years. I've had appropriate weight riders who are not the greatest riders in the world get on her. And she will shoot them to the moon if they sit on her funny or move wrong. Please. Before you go talking about how much people weigh, etc. Like, yes, there are going to be riders that are too, bigger, or too big for their horses. But... Th this ain't it. You're also cherry picking studies and words that you're trying to take away from those studies. I mean, I have talked so much on this channel in depth, which I don't think we need to go into for this video because at the end of the day, it's just common sense on the effects of overweight riders on horsebacks. And again, this is not to say that she's entirely wrong because I do agree that light riders with bad equitation can cause just the same amount of back damage as overweight riders, but to sit there and say that people are just fat shaming equestrians who are overweight and that there's nothing wrong with it, that's literally factually incorrect and scientifically inaccurate and you're spreading misinformation. And also the Ohio study that I'm assuming she's talking about is something that I've gone over in multiple videos and it absolutely is not about how there's no negative effect. It talks openly about how the majority of horses, like the vast majority, the overwhelming amount, can only carry a max of 20%, as do all of the other studies. And this is not something that's outdated. This is not something that goes all the way back to the 1800s, which I'm assuming she's talking about the Calvary Manual, which was in 1920. And honestly, at the end of the day, I shouldn't even have to go into all of these, you know, studies and, and veterinary data. This is, at the end of the day, just common sense people. You should not be riding horses if you're visibly too big for them. The horse musculoskeletal system is not designed to be carrying that much weight. Imagine if you were in that animal's shoes. And it's a total lie, totally completely fabricated lie, to say that different breeds can carry different amounts. There are very few exceptions to this. So you guys are probably going to say, why am I making this video? I'm making this video in response to her because this is something that I see a lot. And this is something that needs to stop. And I don't care if I hurt people's feelings by saying the truth because I'm going to say it. This is not about you. Stop turning this into a fat acceptance, fat shaming issue. This is not about you. 
This is about the health, safety, and well-being of animals. Yes, there are exceptions to the 20% rule. There could be riders that are a little bit above that, that still have great equitation, good fitted tack, that could still be good riders and not causing any back damage. There are definitely plenty of riders that weigh within the 20% that are bad riders that do cause back damage. No one is disproving that. But to sit there and say that the 20% rule is outdated and factually inaccurate is not true. That is a fabricated lie to make you feel better better about yourself. So you know what's worse than hurting someone's feelings by telling them the truth is lying and seeing animals get injured, have serious back problems, serious musculoskeletal system damage long term even to their their legs, their hooves, etc, not even just their back. This is a serious issue and for people to normalize overweight riders that are causing serious damage and problems to their horses by saying that you can't speak out against this because it's fat shaming and it's discouraging is literally encouraging animal welfare problems and issues that will occur and arise in the future. As somebody who's in vet school who will have my DVM at some point in the future, this is not something that I'm ever going to condone. And I can sit here and tell you that although it might hurt your feelings, telling people who are overweight riders that they are not allowed to ride horses for fear of animal welfare problems is not fat shaming. I am not here to cater to people's feelings. And whether you think what I said is politically correct or not, it's medically correct and it's medically backed. And what you said is not. And I'm never going to condone something that I think is going to potentially put the lives of thousands of horses at risk and put their health and safety and well being in question. And riding horses is not a right, it's a privilege. Not everyone gets to ride a horse. I'm sorry to tell you that. There's plenty of people that weigh within the 20% rule that should not be riding horses. So that's my rant for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, you know, I know I'm gonna get a lot of people saying that I'm fat shaming. Okay, I mean, what have I said in this video that would potentially be a fat shaming thing? Absolutely nothing. Me caring about the well-being and welfare of horses backed by medical data is not fat shaming. Stop spreading misinformation on the internet, okay? Okay, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Check out Link Equestrian if you are interested. Also, uh, check out my Patreon if you're interested in extra content and you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Those are gonna be down below. But otherwise, I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.